This is Baikonur, the world's first and largest operational spaceport. The story of Baikonur begins in the early years of the 20th century, when a small village called Churatam was founded to service the Moscow to Tashkent Railway. This unforgiving corner of the world, where the winters are blisteringly cold, the summers searingly hot, and even small breezes can whip up dust storms over the endless plains, proved to be the perfect location for the proposed Soviet rocket testing facility. This is where the world's first satellite, Sputnik, was launched in 1957, where the world's first space dog, Laika, started her space journey, and where Yuri Gagarin made history by becoming the first man in space. While initially no more than a temporary military installation, Chiritam was quickly built up into a town to support the Cosmodrome. They built living quarters for the workers and their families, schools and infrastructure to sustain a growing population. The Cosmodrome was named Baikonur after a small mining town over 400 kilometres away from Chiritam, allegedly to confuse and mislead their Cold War rivals, the United States. The ruse didn't quite work as the US could establish the launch location based on the rocket trajectory and later even found the town using an observation jet by simply following the railroad and seeing where it leads. Nevertheless, the town remained locked down for decades and has only recently opened up to allow admission to tourists and space aficionados. But what's next for Baikonur? Russia has an agreement with Kazakhstan to use the Cosmodrome until 2050 but also has plans to build a new site in Vostochny in the Russian Far East by 2018. Kazakhstan's space agency is hopeful that a new development of a launch complex called Baitarek will revitalize the area, ensuring the ongoing launch program of satellites and commercial flights. The legacy of the world's first and largest spaceport will live on. <laughs>